Biome. Biome. What in the world are biomes? Well, in our last topic, we talked about climate. We learned about different climate zones and how they're described according to temperature and precipitation, different places around the world. Well, those climate zones affect what kind of life exists in those different areas on our planet. And we call those different areas biomes. And I have just a very small book I'd like to show you with a map of some of these different areas we call biomes. And this is an atlas of the world. And as I said, it's just a small book, but I just want to show you one page here that's very colorful regarding planet Earth. And on this page, you can see a map of the Earth, and it shows the different color areas which refer to different biomes on planet Earth. So I want to take you on a trip around the world and show you different biomes. All right, here we are, and here's the Earth. And right now I'm going to take you on a journey around our planet in the next couple minutes to introduce to you some of the different biomes that exist on our planet. So, uh, let me put the globe away and I'll be right back. Starting at the top and the bottom of the world, we have our first biome. Our first biome is called the tundra. The tundra, as you can see, is an area where it's very, very cold and typically also very dry. I I'd like to get somewhere a little less cold at this time. Our next biome, still a little bit chilly, but uh, also a little bit more moderate in terms of precipitation. This is called the coniferous forest. And in the coniferous forest, you'll find trees that may look familiar to you this time of year because a lot of us kill these trees and we cut them down in order to hang things on, little ornaments and and decorations. These are all different kinds of coniferous trees. Coniferous forest is our second biome. Our third biome is probably one you're most familiar with. It's called the deciduous forest. And deciduous trees are those that lose their leaves each season in the fall. That's why we call it fall, because the leaves fall from the trees. Well, in deciduous forests uh, are great places to go hiking in the woods and maybe find different species of trees as well as different species of birds. And who knows what kinds of things you find in a deciduous forest biome. Just take a hike out in the woods and you'll find out in your own backyard, probably. Our next biome, a lot warmer and a lot wetter. This biome is called the tropical rainforest. And in the tropical rainforest, it pretty much rains every day. Thus the name rainforest. And there is an incredible diversity of living things in the tropical rainforests on planet Earth. Our next biome is called grassland or savanna biome. And in these biomes, you often find interesting organisms like, oh, maybe a cheetah or a leopard that you might want to go on safari and check out someday. We also have in our own country the grasslands of the Midwest where you can explore just like in the days of the Lewis and Clark expedition. Our last land biome are called the deserts. Deserts are dry, but some deserts are hot and dry, 
while some are cold and dry. But the key word with all deserts is that deserts are dry. Finally, we have our water biomes, both the marine biome and the freshwater biomes. In the marine biome, we've got salt water, and it's made up of the oceans and the seas of the world. The freshwater biomes are made out of fresh water, and these are usually the lakes, the rivers, and the streams on the land. But no matter which of the water biomes you're talking about, the only communication source that will work is the trusty shell phone. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I have perfect reception. I can hear you fine here. Yeah, uh-huh, uh all right. Well, back to you in class so I can finish my conversation on my shell phone.